Hello there, the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. My name is Bishop Clement and I want to be able to take this opportunity especially to send a special message not only just right now to the Kingdom Church members and, uh, and all our partners but to the rest of the body of Christ throughout the world. I know at the moment uh, they are, they are, the world at the moment is, uh, I'm talking about it, is being held hostage but this thing that we call coronavirus, yes, it is true, uh, it does exist. But one thing that I want to be able to remind you is that the God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. That I've been praying and seeking the face of God where there is this concern. One year ago, God prepared for me, especially where this situation is concerned. As we see this epidemic that is take, that is sweeping nations all over the place i have been praying and i want to be able to make it very clear is that you know god has not spoken to me at all i've not heard from god for us to be able to close our churches where that is concerned and i one thing i want to be able to let you know i believe with all my heart it is a time as this where actually churches is needed uh, because it's not only that because you see you see, there are three important things. Number one is faith. Number two is hope. And number three is love. And, you know, the Bible tells us that love, you know, overcomes everything. But child of God, hope, hope means, means possibility. Uh, and, uh, and I want to be able to encourage all our saints and all our believers, all our partners, members. I want to let you know right now, our services are as normal as how God has instructed us to be. I know there are direction and instructive that has come from the government and other things, and I totally understand that, and I totally believe where that is concerned. But as far as we are concerned, that we will stay open as we are supposed to be. And there is a reason why I want to be able to share this with you. Remember that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. What is going around in the world, no one else can stop this thing only apart from God. But remember in the book of Exodus chapter 12, from verse 22 to 23, the Bible tells us that God will not permit the destroyer to enter, uh, in, God will not permit the destroyer to be able to enter into our home. So I need you to have faith. I need you to have hope and I need you to have love for one another. And if there's any other time in the face of the earth when the church should be more active, it is today. We cannot just let, leave the government to do everything. We need also to step we need, we need also to step out there and that is why i am really making that decision myself right now as i speak to you and i'm preparing myself to travel back to london and i want to be there on the front i want on the front line i want to be able to be there to deal with this thing that called corona and you ask me why bishop why would you do that you know you need to understand the bible tells us in the book of john uh, chapter 10 verse 11 say that I, i'm a good shepherd and the good shepherd lays his life for his sheep you know I have so many, many, many. God has blessed us with a high number, especially of elderly people. And I give God the grace for it. And especially God has blessed us with so many senior people. And this is not the time for us to abandon them. One of the things that I totally believe, especially when it comes to the kingdom church, we are not a church that is just interested with you, just coming down and sitting down on the pew and going home. No, 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 child of God. You know one thing, in the kingdom church, we believe, we want to know, you know, we are not only interested for you coming to church and just attending service, but we are also interested, child of God, with where your life is concerned. That is where God has called me as a shepherd. And for that reason, I have decided at the end of the day, I need to be on the front line. And I want to be able just to share with you for the rest of our members. And I know many of you right now, you've been asking me, prophet, what would you do? I want to be able to let you know right now, it's time for us to face this coronavirus. We can be able to face it. We can be able to overcome it. And we shall be able to overcome it because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And you know one thing, child of God, there is something I want to be able to share with you. My advice will be, number one, all our members and our partners, please, the most important thing, you need to stock enough food. Buy as much as you can. This is not because of anything else. It's not because of fear, but it's been driven by supply and demand. You will need enough supply. So my encouragement will be for you to be able to get as much as you can and stock because on the days ahead, 
there's going to be a lot of challenges but also i want to be able to let you know also it's important for you to pray Prayer is everything. Prayer is everything. The Bible says, if my people that are called by my name, they shall humble themselves. I will hear and I will heal the land. The other thing, you know, God, make sure you anoint yourself, especially, you know, with the, with the special protection oil. Uh, you, know, the, you know, the special protection oil that God reveals to me, and I've already been supplying it to where our members is concerned. Remember, according to the book of Leviticus, chapter 14, uh, verse 4, verse 6, and also 49, 50 to 6. 60, uh, to 52 to 50 and also according to the book of exodus chapter 12 verse 22 this is a special oil child of god that is able to protect god's people right now from every manner of plague i also want to be able to encourage you that if you are there right now like what i said before for the sake of it uh, i bishop climate we are planning if things get worse especially uh where uh, if things if, if, if things get worse especially uh where if things get back, especially where Corona is concerned, we are planning actually to, to be able to use the Kingdom Church facilities as a, a delivery center. This is so important and it's so vital and especially for where our elderly is concerned. And this is one thing that I want to be able to let you know. John chapter 10, John chapter 10 says, and this is what I want you to hear that John chapter 10 Verse 11 says that I'm a good shepherd and I lay down for my sheep. And for that reason, that is why right now I'm making my way to London right now to be there on the front line to help the government. You know, we cannot just stay behind. Somebody has to be out there. We cannot leave everything in the hand of the government. We are the community. And we're going to be out there. And especially for all our seniors and especially our elderly people, I want to let you know that I'm not going to leave you alone by yourself. I'm going to be there by you. And if you're there right now, you need some shopping to be done. Just send me the list. I'm going to mobilize as the days go ahead as we are directed by the power of God and the anointing of God. Uh, I've already mobilized a team. I'm, I have some powerful, powerful warriors that will be doing delivery to be able to make sure that every supply that you need, we're going to get it for you. I'm talking about if you need any extra food, you need whatever it is. At the moment, uh, we have tried to uh, pack as much as we can. But if worse gets to us, I want you to know that I, your shepherd, I'm going to be there for you. Uh, if there's anything that you need, you know our prayer line. Call that number. Any supply that you need, we'll get it for you in the days ahead. So I want you to understand that you're not alone. I myself personally, I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be driving. I'm going to I'm gonna ride in the motorbike. I want to be able to make sure that I get the supply for you, wherever you are. Wherever it is that you need, I'll be able to make sure you get it. And you ask me, Prophet, what would you do this, child of God? At the end of the day, child of God, you need to understand that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and the sound mind. You know, in the kingdom church, we believe in overcoming all you know, how can you be a conqueror unless there is nothing to conquer? How can you be an overcomer unless there is nothing to overcome? And I want to call especially other kingdom church members that are there, powerful warriors. It's time for you to join me, especially during this time. We must overcome. We overcome the storm, which was the, uh, the beast of the east. We overcome that. And I believe we can be able to overcome it today. So all our seniors, whatever you are, if there's anything that, any supplies that you need from today, whatever it is, just go to the phone, call that number. Uh, in the next few days, probably right now, I've been working with our technicians in the next three to four, uh, maybe in the next maybe five, six days, we'll be having a special app where actually you can be able to order all your deliveries and we can be able to make sure that you get them on time. Already as I speak to you right now, we have, I've, I've already secured the van i'm talking about secure the van i'm talking about with the fridge we have already secured a motorbike and whatever we need to be able to get the supplies that you need so all our seniors you don't need to worry everything's gonna be all right or what you need to do is to call that number give us the supplies that you need you don't need to struggle we'll find them for you Yes, we can find them for you and we'll get them wherever you are. Remember, I want to be able to share this with you. Right now, today we heard that China, for the first time, there was no more any coronavirus uh, um, uh, 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 that has been documented. Why? Uh, because there were warriors. There were people that were out there, people that risked everything 
to be able to do those deliveries, to be able to make sure they're taking the food to the people, to be able to make sure they're taking the necessary supply. And this is where we come in. And I believe with all my heart, especially that child of God, we will be able to overcome this epidemic. And why you ask me so? Because at the end of the day, child of God, you need to understand there is always a way that God has protected his people. And you know one thing, child of God, we are protected. I have with me, I have with me here right now, my skeleton, and as you can see there behind me there, I have the protection oil against every plague. And I believe with I believe with all my heart, it's either there is God or no God. And if there is God, He will protect us. Just like the three Hebrew boys, when they were about to be thrown in the fire, the tall king Nebuchadnezzar. You know what, King Nebuchadnezzar? If thrust into the fire, if God will not rescue us, it's fine. If you rescue us, it's fine. And I believe with all my heart, it is not time for me to abandon my people. It is not time for me to abandon the work of God. It's time for me to step forward. And I want to be able to take this opportunity to thank God for all those great warriors that are going to join me to be able to make it this possible. So remember very well, our services are on as usual. There is no, we are stepping, we are stepping out there in the name of Jesus. But if you are there right now, maybe you feel as if you're threatened, whatever it is, I totally understand. But you know one thing, I want to encourage you to let you know, this is time for you to test your faith and God will bless you in Jesus name. So thank you so much, everybody. And I'm looking forward to be able for your support. And if you're there right now, there's any way that you can help to reach out there to help. Remember right now, as China is coming out from that disaster, it's because there were people who chose to risk it all to help other people. And that's what you're doing in the kingdom church. We are sticking out there. Kingdom church is going to be open for prayers. It's going to be open. Why? The Bible says anyone that is sick among you shall call the elders of the church. They shall anoint that person with oil in the name of the Lord. And the Bible tells that the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And if they have sinned, they shall be forgiven. And that's what we're going to do during this time. This day is not any other time for people to find the power of God like this time. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Share this message right now with your friends and your family. And let them know right now that the Good Shepherd will be out there laying his life for his sheep. So I'm looking forward to see one of these days. So all our elderly people, all our seniors of our 60, please get in touch with our prayer center. Get in touch with me. And we're going to be able to make sure you're fully supplied. So don't worry about your shopping as from tomorrow. Just give us the list. I'll look for it. I'll find all what you need and we'll bring it to you in Jesus' name. And the rest of you, I'm looking forward right now to be able to see you here at the Kingdom Church at number three, Campbell Station Road. I know that your life will never be the same again. I believe with all my heart as we pray and as we stand together, no harm shall befall upon us. You know what, the child of God, I believe in the divine protection of the Almighty God. Thank you so much and God bless you. Remember, even this coronavirus shall pass away, but his word will never pass away. God bless you and I'm looking forward to see you. So, thank you. Love you all. Bye-bye and see you on the ground. Bye-bye for now. It's about understanding. It's about understanding the power of God's divine protection. When the children of Israel were about to leave Egypt, Jehovah God instructed them to paint their door with red blood and disaster was averted. When the walls of Jericho were about to fall down, the two spies ordered Rahab to hang the red scarlet on the wall as a token and all those who were in that house were spared. Now God has instructed Prophet Climate to prepare a special red cloth with special divine powers for protection. Thousands have been delivered and divinely protected from failures, disasters, accidents, and even death. Today, get your free red miracle cloth with special divine powers of protection. There are things and places only God's power can deliver and protect you from. Get your free red miracle cloth now. From the UK, call 4420-7738-3668. Or from the USA, call 1732-444-8943. For anywhere else, connect with us via WhatsApp. 4407-448-583-480. 
Visit www.themiraclecloths.com to obtain yours for free. Live to see another day.